lunchtime at Jerusalem's Hebrew University. The head of the Joint List Alliance of four Arab parties, Ayman Odeh, canvasses for votes. The 41-year-old lawyer from Haifa is campaigning on a platform of democracy and social equality. The purpose is to challenge the mainstream parties that dominate Israeli politics. We are convincing the people on two levels. First, we have the power to prevent the right wing from forming the new government. Second, we have to strengthen our society to build our institutions and our national foundation. The four parties allied after a new law required parties to poll at least 3.25 percent of the total vote in order to gain their seats. Pollsters say the joint list could win more than 10 percent of the vote and become the third largest bloc in parliament. Odeh says it will not join either the right or the left in forming the next Israeli government. We cannot vote for a budget half of which is for security forces. We cannot vote for a budget that funds Jewish settlements in the Palestinian territories rather than social works. We cannot be part of a coalition that might attack Gaza or demolish Arab homes in the Negev. The parties in the alliance range from communists to Islamists, but they agree on 80 percent of the issues, says 21-year-old nursing student Nassim Sayed Ahmed. This doesn't mean they'll melt into a single party. There's a political coalition with one political platform whose purpose is to serve Palestinian society. Arabs make up 20 percent of Israel's population, but nearly half of them historically boycott national elections. Choosing civil protest over civic duty is understandable, says 27-year-old graduate student Dima Abu Al-Assad. There is no contradiction between working in the field and working in the parliament. Our presence in parliament doesn't mean we are not going to be present with the people on the street, and our presence on the street does not contradict our presence in parliament. Each has its own role. Ode says his alliance is fighting for all impoverished and marginalized Israelis. Analysts say, with social and economic issues dominating the campaign, this message has appeal for many voters. Scott Bob, VOA News, Jerusalem.